A popular talking point for people who want to ban and confiscate AR-15s are that no one needs an AR-15 for self-defense. These same people will then also say, we need to ban AR-15s because in the hands of criminals, they're dangerous killing machines. I've never really understood this logic because it doesn't make any sense. Because what they're saying is, an AR-15 in the hands of a criminal is a killing machine, but in the hands of a law-abiding citizen, it's useless? Well, apparently, the wife and mother in this story didn't get that memo. They came in heavily hooded, masked. Uh, as soon as they ripped my back door open, they already had a pistol on me and was grabbing my 11-year-old daughter. King is talking about the men who barged into his home on Old Welcome Road in Lithia around 9 o'clock Wednesday night. He says he doesn't know who they are, never met them, and has no idea why he was targeted. Both men pointed guns at him while demanding money. And when I'm telling them I have nothing for you, they got this backpack and gun in my face saying, give me everything you got. And I'm saying, I have nothing for you. I have nothing for you. It became real violent real fast. King says one of the men started pistol whipping him while another kicked him repeatedly in the head. King's wife, who was eight months pregnant, was in the back bedroom and peeked out to see what was going on. That's when King says one of the masked men shot at her. She retreated, grabbed an AR-15 and returned fire. When he came towards the back door in her line of sight, she clipped him. He made it from my back door roughly 200 feet out in the front ditch before uh, the, the AR did its thing. Deputies who responded to this scene found a man dead in a nearby ditch. The other man ran off after the shot was fired. Them guys came in with two normal pistols. My AR stopped it. Pretty much she even the playing field and kept them from killing me. Authorities are still looking for the second suspect. Meanwhile, King tells me he's waiting to see if there will be any lasting damage to his eye. I want you to think about what just happened here. A pregnant woman with an AR-15 fought off two men with guns. What part of Equalizer do you people not understand? This woman is freaking pregnant. She's essentially the most vulnerable being on the planet right now. But because of the AR-15, she not only saved herself and her child, she saved her husband against two criminals with guns. In a world of anti-gunners, the woman here would have had to run back home to call the police while the criminals continue to beat her husband to death. The AR-15s in the hands of law-abiding citizens is a necessity because in a world full of evil, psychopathic criminals who thrive on taking advantage of law-abiding people, it gives the power back to the people. Not the government, not the police, not the politicians, but the people. Right now, there's a culture war against the Second Amendment, which is why I need your help spreading our message to counter their message. You can do this by leaving a comment, sharing this video, and click the bell and subscribe button. Let my voice be your voice, and let them know you want to keep America tactical. Because the right to keep and bear arms shall not be infringed wasn't a suggestion. It was a directive. Also, if you're wondering where to get your I will not comply, I lost all of my guns in a boating accident, the AR-15 is protected by the Second Amendment, and your state-specific Keep America Tactical shirts, click the links in the description section of this video.